The Saharan dust cloud covering the air in parts of Texas has the potential to cause problems for people with asthma, allergies, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Fox 44's Jessica Rivera spoke with the Waco McLennan County Public Health District on what you can do to cope with the Saharan dust. Jessica. MG, seasonal allergies are a pain, and with the Saharan dust, it has made it difficult for those who have asthma and allergies. The Saharan dust is an irritant, and is so it really doesn't cause sneezing or running nose, but what it does cause itchy eyes and a sore throat. With COVID numbers on the rise, doctors are also concerned that more individuals who have COVID may experience respiratory problems while the dust is in the air. Waco McLennan County Public Health District Stephanie Alvey shares with us how you can tell the difference between allergies and COVID. If the hallmark is usually a fever. Um, not everyone gets a fever, but that's generally going to be your primary difference. Um, another symptom that you might look out for is um, fatigue. Um, a lot of people report fatigue and feeling run down um, in the beginning stages of COVID. Doctors also recommend ways that you can cope with the Saharan dust by staying indoors as much as possible while the dust is in the air or wear a mask while outside. Alvi says if you're experiencing any COVID symptoms, you can get a free at-home test. And we'll share the details on our website, fox44news.com. In the studio, Jessica Rivera, Fox 44 News.